Hey, hey, and welcome to another Tech Tuesday. This is Chad from Ascension Worship, and this week we're back with some more fun with the Behringer Wing. Hey, 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 what do you say? Yes, it's that time again. It's Tech Tuesday. So um, we just got our own Behringer Wing for uh, Ascension Collective and for rentals and that kind of thing. And um, so I've been going through trying to optimize our default scene to try and get the most out of the different buses and all that good stuff that's in there. And uh, I came across something that I think is really interesting I want to share with you guys today. Uh, So one of the weirder things about the Behringer Wing is it has not one, but four uh, main mixes, which I always thought was very strange. Uh, I've been able to use them, obviously, for my main mix, and then, you know, sometimes for, like, a streaming mix or something like that, but there's only four of them, um, and they're stuck at being uh, uh, post-fade, and so I wasn't quite sure how to really get the most out of them, and I came up with this idea that I think is really interesting, and it does work. Um, I decided to offload my effect sends instead of using regular mix buses to actually using these other main mixes. Um, so let me show you what I'm talking about here. So hopefully you guys can see this okay on the console. We're going to go look at our main mixes. And you can see, first off, we've got our rock mix. Um, that is just my regular main mix. It feeds into the matrices. It does all the things that a main mix should do. Um, so there you go. It rocks. But next to that, my shorthand is band verb send vocal verb send, and delay send. Um, So let's look at the band verb send for a second here. Uh, And you can see on the second insert slot, we have a reverb that is inserted onto uh, this main mix. Now, for us to be able to hear it, first off, the fader is set to Unity. And now we're going to move over to our aux input page. And you can see on aux 5, 6, and 7, again, my shorthand, we've got band verb return, vocal verb return and delay return. So let's look at the band verb return and you can see on here, if we go to our input source, um, our source group is mains and we are listening to main to left and right. So this is super cool. What's happening is we're taking the output of a main mix and digitally routing it back into the console through an auxiliary input. Now that we've done that, um, we can process it with gate and EQ, um, compression. Uh, we can you know, send it to our main mix. We can send it to our monitor mixes. So here's a little bit of band reverb. Hey! Some vocal reverb. Hey! And then some delay. Hey! hey. hey. Delay. delay! And you can see it all works, and uh, we're all good to go in here. Now, here's what's cool about that. Because I'm not using my regular mixes to do this, I've freed up now three of my regular mixes. And you might be thinking to yourself, especially if you come from like an X32 world, well, three mixes isn't that big of a deal, especially if you're doing stereo in-ears. That's basically a mix and a half. Well, the cool thing is that the Behringer Wing compared to the X32, on the X32, a mix bus is inherently mono. Um, and you need two of them to make a stereo in your mix on the Behringer wing though, every single bus is stereo. So by having three buses left, I can have three stereo mixes ready to go to add on. And that is huge. So what that means is that right now with our template on here, uh, assuming I don't need any mix buses for anything else, like other effects or anything, I could potentially have as much as my regular front of house mix with my three uh, most common effects again band verb vocal verb and delay um and on top of that i can have 16 stereo in-ear mixes all on the same console all at the same time um so that is just humongous you can do that much on the scene the way it's set up here so really really cool uh, i hope that helps somebody out there um that either has a wing or is considering getting a wing um and yeah, so we're going to be doing some more wing videos over the next few weeks because, you know, we finally have one that we can play with anytime we want. Um, so if you have any questions about this subject or you have other subjects you want me to cover over the next few weeks, uh, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and uh, that might influence uh, what comes up next. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and until next time, 
Have a great weekend. Again, this is Chad from Ascension Worship. I hope this has been helpful for you and your team. Come back here every Tuesday for new information.